Hello, I'm Kurt Owen here at ESS Academy. We're excited to announce that we've just finished a six month study with some of our classes. And what we have found was is that when people were coming to the range, very a lot of students were concerned because of the high cost of ammo. Not just because of that, but because of an FBI study, we decided to test something. Uh, what it is is that when you come out, you're gonna shoot a live fire evaluation and then from there on, we take you and all you do is airsoft using on Glock 19Xs and exact clone. And then at the end of the two days of the intro to combat pistol, then we go ahead and allow you to shoot, reshoot your evaluation with live fire. We've frankly been astounded at the results. We had heard about the FBI study, if you're not familiar with that, several years ago when an airsoft uh, kingpin from Japan came over here and having never fired a live gun before, smoked all of our uh, national champions at a steel challenge, the FBI wanted to know how was this possible. And so what they did was, is they did a study. One was 100% uh, live fire, which is traditional. One was 90% airsoft or dry fire, 10% of live fire. And then the last one was 100% airsoft or dry fire to the day of qualification. And this is what they found. They found that the 90% airsoft or dry fire, 10% live fire, number one qualification group. 100% airsoft, number two qualification group. And it was actually the traditional 100% live fire that had suffered the lowest qualification scores. We had heard about this. We wanted to test it with the ammo shortage. We thought this was the perfect time. And I'll tell you this, you will be astounded at what you're able to do with this type of training. So please come on out. Uh, don't be surprised. We're going to keep your round count low, but you're going to get lots of trigger time on these airsoft pistols, and you're going to see a remarkable difference in your skill level. I'll see you out here training.